Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding activity participants and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in IBM interviews over the past two years a number of times, right? So let's jump right in. We are given a table called friends with three different columns, ID, name and activity and these are the data types. ID is the ID of the friend and the primary key for this table. Name is the name of the friend. Activity is the name of the activi activity which the friend takes part in. We are also given a second table called activities with two different columns, ID and name. ID is the primary key for this table and name is the name of the activity. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the names of all the activities with neither the maximum nor the minimum number of participants. Okay. Each activity in the activities table is performed by any person in the table friends. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay. So let's go through this example, right? So for example, in this, there are three different activities, eating, singing, and horse riding. Eating is performed by one, two and three. So three people singing by two people and horse riding by one people. Now, which activity is does not have maximum and minimum uh, number of participants. So eating has three, right? So that is the maximum and horse riding is one. So minimum. So the only remaining is singing, which is two times. So the output should be singing, right? Okay. So do, to do this, uh, to make this query, right? To, Okay, so to build this query, what we need to do is the first step should be, you know, using this friends table, we should try to count out how, which all activities are performed by how many participants, right? Okay, so let's start with this. So from this table called friends, right, let's group by the activity column and return the activity column and the count of how many participants right so since we remember id from the friends table is a uh, primary key so non-null unique values so if you just count the number of ids so that is going to give you the number of people who or number of participants in the particular activity and let's say as num part of like like number of partic participants or whatever you want to alias right so basically what is this going to return right so it is going to basically have two column right so activity and number of part participants right so activity eating then singing and then horse riding right so for eating it will count how many people so one two and three so right so three for singing uh three for eating two for singing and one for horse riding right so this is what it will come after this query right so let's store this in a common table expression so with cte as this right now what do we need to do is for each of the activities in the activities table, we should perform a join of activities table on this common table expression to get the number of participants. Now you might think, what is the use of this, right? In this case, in this particular example, there is no use, right? But let's say there was a fourth activity called sleeping, right? in the activities table and let's say the friends table didn't have sleeping right so friends table would be let's say exactly the same so if you see eating is performed by three people singing by two people horse riding by one person and sleeping is not performed by any anyone so in that case the maximum is three eating and the minimum is sleeping zero so you need to have singing and horse riding in the output right but if you like you know in, instead of performing a join you just uh, go ahead with this right so group by and then you perform and try to find out which one is the maximum which one is the minimum and exclude those so this will not have even though there will be a fourth activity called sleeping because it is not performed by anyone so grouping by that won't have sleeping in this right 
so you see that is the importance of joining this so remember if you just look at this exa particular example you might not not see this edge case but you need to think of these edge cases as well while writing your queries right okay so our steps two is from the activities table aliased as a let's left join the common table expression aliased as c on so on activities table name right so a dot name is equal to common table expression has which column c dot activity right so once we perform this join then what we are keeping let's keep select the name from the activities table because all the activities matter not what all perform right so a dot name and then what do we need to keep is after performing a join so with this and this right so this common table expression and this activities table so we are keeping the num part right so num part let's say a uh, num part comes from common table expression right so c dot num part okay now c dot num part right now the thing is we should not write it like this you know because here two cases arises let's say there was a fourth one right so fourth one here uh, four id four uh, sleeping right so for eating it will go it will uh, see okay eating find a match return three right so we are returning c dot num part so for eating three for singing two for horse riding one and for uh, the fourth one sleeping it will not find a match so it will return null right you remember we need to calculate the maximum and minimum so it shouldn't be null it should be wherever it is null you should in include zero like number of participants zero not null because if you try to calculate the minimum out of it so there, there was a there will be a problem right so that is why instead of just writing this after performing a join we remember right so if there is it is not null you just return it if it is null you return zero right so case when so you, you see how two cases are arising so case when after performing a join c dot num part is not null right then you simply return the c dot num part else that is if it is zero uh, if it is null then return zero and the case statement and let's alias it as number of part like we like we can write number of part but like just for clarity sake let's say let's write frequency or like whatever number of participants you can expand it etc does not matter okay so now in this case what will happen it will have for this particular case it will again have the same thing right so let me just copy this uh, and instead of num part it will be having frequency and instead of activity since a dot name right so the column name would be name right so name eating singing horse any had there been a fourth one that is let's say uh, sleeping right as i was talking so here it would be zero not null so now after we have this what do we need to do we need to from this common table expression or like we can save this again into another common table expression and then using this common table expression we just perform a simple filter that uh, only keep those rows where the frequency is not the maximum and those rows where the frequency is not the minimum right so let's store this in a common table expression so remove this so with ct2 remember how do we write a common table expression after the other you don't need to write with again so you just put a comma and then cte2 as put this entire thing in parenthesis right now what do we do is we simply so basically this is ct2 right so for this example there won't be a sleeping it was just an example to demonstrate so from ct2 we are only keeping those rows where frequency column right 
is not equal to the maximum value right and you can not simply write max frequency remember so you need to write a sub query so select max of frequency from ct2 right it should not uh, the question says it should not have maximum neither maximum nor minimum right so this is for maximum number of participants and again like we need to do the same thing but with the minimum so paste it here and instead of max you just write minimum and when you keep those rows what do we need to uh, output in the final thing activity right so return activity is basically here the name column so return name as activity right so this looks good let me go ahead and remove this okay so this looks good uh, let me go ahead and run this to see what happens Okay, so this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this. Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yep, this passes all the test cases and this is successful. So this is how we do it. Again, like not a very difficult question. Uh, kind of tricky. You need to go step by step, try to find out and also make sure like why we are performing this join. The importance is so that we keep in mind the edge case as well and once you identify that edge case all you need to do was you know from that common terms expression exclude the maximum as well as the minimum part and return the activities let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way of doing it uh, write down the solution in the comment section and until then i will see you guys in the next video